Dr. Scott Mills from FullBodyFix.com wanted to show you a test to see whether or not you need to do some hip flexor opening drills. And I, I shared this technique yesterday on my Instagram page. I want to show you a little quick test that you can do on your own to see if you actually need to do that work. Uh, we're also going to do a variation to see if maybe the issue is not the psoas, the hip flexor here, but rather the quad portion of the hip flexor called the rectus femoris. Uh, so here we go. You're going to put yourself in a lunge position, so you might not be able to see my head here. Uh, but basically what we're looking for is the ability to lunge forward about 10 inches between the knee and a straight vertical line down from the shoulder. Now one thing is you can't cheat by leaning forward with your shoulder or extending back with your shoulder. Uh, or in through your low back, actually. So, lunge position, leaning forward with kind of this nice vertical torso posture. How far can you get forward? And if you're not feeling anything there, pretty good likelihood that the hip flexor is okay. The second component is put yourself in that position and then either have someone passively lift up the lower leg or actively do it on your own. If you can do that, then there's a pretty good indication that the quad component of the hip flexor, the rectus femoris, is actually okay. Uh, if you can't do that, if you can't lift that lower leg up off, then the adhesion restriction is actually probably in the quad, not the psoas. So it's just a quick little tip from me, Dr. Scott Mills from FullBodyFix.com. We'll see you next time.